Hello everybody, in this video we'll talk about advanced filter. Now most of you who have been using sort filter for decades would love this feature especially because on occasions filter fails to give you the desired results. And let me explain why a simple example. Before us lies uh, hundreds of hypothetical names of different clients, the country in which they are located, the city in which their offices are located and exactly the location of the building. Now somebody asks you, look, I want all the names of Park Plaza, all the client names which are under Park Plaza and specifically those ones which are more than 70,000. And in addition to that, I also want the client names which are based out of Shanti Niketan building and especially those ones whose amount exceeds 50,000. Now, if you go by the traditional route, how would you proceed? You'll choose the data, you'll go to data, you'll apply filter, then you'll definitely go to location and then you intend to choose Park Plaza and Shantini Ketan, correct? This is just halfway through. But now comes the tricky part. When you go to amount and when you say number filter greater than, it doesn't differentiate between which one should I assume for Park Plaza and which one should I consider for Shantini Ketan? For example, you may write is greater than 70,000, but this 70,000 filter is going to be applied to both Park Plaza as well as Shantini Ketan. Despite the fact that you may have mentioned once again, and that is in the second box saying is greater than 50,000. And imagine what if there were a third criteria talking about EPJ house more than 80,000. Where would the third criteria be? Now, if I press OK, notice Shantini Ketan between 50 and 70 has not been included in this list. Why? Because the criteria was saying more than 70,000 overall. So this, I've seen people using a lot of uh, copy pasting techniques, uh, basic manual sorting techniques to be able to get this but I'll show you how this can be achieved through advanced filter. First, I'll help you walk through the basic nuts and bolts of advanced filter and then in the next videos, I'll show the different variations that are embedded in advanced filter. So I go to sheet number four. I have a simple data on the left hand side, the same data. Now using advanced filter, which is residing under the data tab, the button advanced, we will see how to get a simple list extracted which will say Park Plaza more than 70,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on advanced. Now first things first, it is asking me, do you want to filter the list in its original place or do you want to take it away and get the extracted value somewhere else? I'll say, please copy to another location. That means the original list will remain intact, the output will be somewhere out here from the cell that we will be choosing very soon. Now list range, let me delete the existing one. The list range is going to be the raw data including the headers. So I'm going to use shift control right, shift control down. If I keep it chosen and I press control backspace key, notice it allows me to go to the top of the data and yet the selection is still on from the A7 cell to E262. Now comes the criteria range. The criteria range has to be defined before you proceed with advanced filter. What I've done is I've picked up the headings, location and amount. The spelling should be same. The format, the colors could be different, but the spelling should be same. And within those headers, I've given Park Plaza and more than 70,000. So I choose the criteria range and the third option which says copy to where. Let me choose a cell here, which means the output is going to begin from here. As I press OK, let's see what we get. I'm getting a list, a refined list which says Park Plaza and the ones which are more than 70,000. So this advanced filter is not self adjusting or self updating, which means if you change any name here in the main list, this is not going to impact the output. You have to repeat the entire procedure again. So this was the basics of advanced filter. Now, let me show you from scratch how a criteria can be built, although it's very simple. What I need to do is I need to pick up, let's say city. If I want certain cities specifically, and I pick up Kolkata. Now I would want that within Kolkata, only the ones which are more than $100,000 should appear in my final output. So I pick up the heading, 
copy pasting is the best method because I do not risk writing the incorrect spelling of the header and I'm going to put a greater than sign or even fact greater than equal to and then write maybe uh, one lakh. Yeah, that's one tenth of a million, one lakh. And now let me proceed with advanced filter. So I go to data, I go to advanced. In here, I first choose copy to another location and within which I'm going to delete all the options so that we can start from scratch. Yeah, give me a minute. Now, I place my cursor under list range and I pick up the entire data starting from the header, including the header. So shift control right, shift control down. Once having done so, I press control backspace. Now please note control backspace is not important. It's just to ensure that having the data selected and keeping it so, you are able to go back to the header and see where you began. So once I've chosen the list range, I go to criteria range and this time I pick up the entire portion. And thereafter I go to copy to and pick up the cell, destination cell where the output should begin. So as I press OK, I should be getting uh, only Kolkata based clients who are exceeding $100,000 in number. So there, that is how you make an advanced filter output. Now, let me do one thing. Let me press Ctrl Z. Uh, when, once you've applied advanced filter, it doesn't let you press Ctrl Z. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one blank cell, choose the entire data block and simply paste it so that it supersedes all the data that we had prepared. Now, if you want multiple differential criteria, for example, you want to find out who are the uh, clients in Kolkata city, which are located in Park Plaza and in Gurgaon, which are the clients which are located in the building called Shantiniketan. So this is like one line at a time. It reads one line at a time. Kolkata, Park Plaza, Gurgaon, Shantiniketan. Similarly, if you had placed your criteria like these under location, Park Plaza, more than 70,000, under location Shantiniketan, more than 50,000, which means this is a differential multiple filter. Let me in fact use the case 3 to populate the output and see what we get. So I go to advanced, I go to copy to another location, just for our uh, academic purpose, our, our learning purpose, I'm reselecting the entire data set. So shift control right, shift control down. And what do we need to press to go back to the header? Mm -hmm. Yes, control backspace key. In the criteria range, I'm going to delete the existing one and choose the case three. So I'll have to move to the right hand side. Yep, here it goes. I choose it. So please ensure that you are taking the header in both the list range as well as the criteria range. And when I go to copy to, uh, I may have made a mistake here. And this is quite natural since you're using it for the first time. In the criteria range, you must pick up this entire group of cells. And once you've ensured that you have picked up the right range of cells, then and then only you go to copy to. And it primarily has to be just one cell from where the data should begin. As I press OK, ideally I should be getting in few moments Park Plaza, which is more than 70,000 and Shantiniketan, specifically the ones which is more than $50,000. So you'll see more variations of advanced filter as we proceed talking about the different operators and the different combinations of the criteria that you can put in the advanced filter to get a much more refined output. And I'll start with some basic examples. Before us lies a table which says what are the potential criteria and what is it going to yield me. For example, let me start with a simple one. If I simply put an equal to sign under let's say amount dollars, it means it will pick up those entries which contain a blank. And let me proceed with the live example. I go to advanced. I pick up the small data range. This is only for experimentation. I go to criteria range and I pick up these two cells. Now, since the second radio button has not been ticked on, the third option doesn't get activated. So once I do so, I say, please copy to another location. Let's say out here. Let's see what we get. You notice I get only two names. And those are the two names which says Shantiniketan 2 and Park Hotel against which there is nothing. So basically this criteria when you put for that is simple equal to it means a blank. Similarly, had I put in uh, under location a single quote followed by equal to Park, it means it should only contain the text Park. And let me again show a live example. I go to advanced. The list range remains the same. So I'm not changing that. 
the criteria range although needs to be changed so i choose this location along with the cell below it and i check on the copy to another location radio button and make sure the output is somewhere out here so this is one cell which i have chosen to be my destination cells okay notice i get only one line entry from the main data which says only path so what i've done is i've given a very um, comprehensive list of the different combinations of criteria that you can give and what is it that they are going to produce as an output so you can also use wildcard characters for example if you say uh, not equal to a star it means contains any text except text that begins with a so if i choose that let's see what happens let me in fact let me put uh, that same criteria copy and paste so now it says not equal to a star so advanced copy to another location list range remains the same and criteria range this time i'm picking up location not equal to a star and copy where copy to this cell where the output should begin so i'm getting all the names but not those names which are starting with a so this is how you can use the various combinations and the more you try the better you will get at it if you want to extract the data which starts with letter p you can also say single quote equal to and letter p so give it a try try different combinations and we'll talk more about filters advanced filters sort challenges in the new videos which i'm going to produce every time every now and then till then bye bye